Mr Clark. Government business, order of the day, research involving embryos and prohibition of human cloning bill 2002, resumption of debate on second reading. Question is that this bill be now read a second time. The Honourable Member for Perth. I move that further proceedings be conducted in the House. The question is that the House do now adjourn. All of the question, please say aye to the contrary. No, I think the ayes have it. The noes have it. The noes have it. Any objection? You've uh, resolved, have you, Mr Speaker, I've resolved. That, that the proceedings not be further conducted in the House? Yes. Okay. In that case, I move to sent from uh, your ruling. And I move to sent from your ruling because it is incapable of the main committee to pass such a resolution. Uh, the basis on which the resolution, or the basis on which this bill was sent to uh, this House, this committee, sorry, by the uh, House. Uh, is contrary to standing orders, uh, and uh, on that basis, uh, the House can, this committee can do nothing other than refer the bill back to the uh, to the House. The question is that this bill be now read a second time. No, the rule. That the question is that the uh, that the uh, honourable member of Perth moves dissent. My my ruling on it would be that uh, under the standing orders of the of the main committee. If there is a disagreement over a division in this house, then it is set aside and uh, dealt with at the in the house. There's been no disagreement over, as I understand, there's been no disagreement over a resolution. I move that further proceedings be conducted in the house. You called that, that had been defeated, despite the fact there were three on this side supporting that and one on the other, two on the other side. There was no dissenting voice from that, so the question of an unresolved question does not arise. The committee, having passed that resolution that the house not that the that the bill not be returned to the house, I've taken a point of order, and the point of order is that the committee is not capable of resolving in that way because the basis on which the bill was sent to this committee is outside the standing orders. That's the point of order I've taken. The standing orders of this main committee are that you cannot resolve an issue in this committee. I therefore rule the question is unresolved. And the matter will be referred to the House. However, in accordance with the resolution agreed to by the House earlier today, debate on the bill will continue regardless of any unresolved question. So, I call the honourable member for Wentworth. Point of order, member for Perth. Do, do, I, do I now understand that what you're ruling is that my motion to return the matter to the House so that further proceedings be conducted in the House? Having uh, Deb, you having ruled, you've now ruled that, that was an unresolved question. What I'm ruling is that the standing orders say that a question cannot be resolved in the committee; it must be referred to the House. I'm, I'm ordering that this is an unresolved question and will be referred to the well, House. Well, my point of order is it's not an unresolved question. If you look at Standing Order 276, every question in the committee shall be decided on the voices, and if any member dissents from the result announced by the chair, the question shall be recorded in the minutes as unresolved. No, right. mem no, mem correct. no member dissented. That is, that is exactly what I've ruled. No member, but no member dissented. It, it's unresolved, so it will be decided by the House because this House cannot resolve a question. Yeah, but the point is, this is my point of order. How a question is decided? Division not possible. Standing Order 276. Every question in the committee shall be decided on the voices, and if any member dissents from the result announced by the chair, the question shall be recorded in the minutes as unresolved. No member dissented from the result announced by the chair. The, I, matter was, the matter was resolved. I ruled that it, be, it was in the negative. I ruled that it was in the negative. And no there, there's no point of order. There's no point of order. I call the honourable member for Wentworth. You, you're ruling, as I understand it, that my motion that further proceedings be conducted be in, the House in the House is an unresolved question. It will be resolved in the House. I call I, the honourable member for Wentworth. I, Mr. Deputy Speaker, I move dissent from your ruling. Yeah. The question is that, the, that my ruling be dissented to. All of that opinion, please say aye. To the contrary, no. no. And those have it. The question, I ask for the ayes. I didn't hear any. Uh, the, the, the question is unresolved, so I will refer it to the House. The Honourable Member for Wentworth. I ask for all those in favour. There were none. You ruled, it, you ruled that my dissent was not carried, and I called the I, I called dissent to that. No I called it. Order. Order. I called it. There's no point of order. The Honourable Member for Wentworth. Thank you. Point of, member for Wentworth. Point of order. Perth on a point of order. 
I moved dissent from your ruling. That was put. You ruled that it wasn't carried. I, I raised my voice in accordance with Standing Order 276 and indicated that it was an unresolved question. And I accommodated you by saying it will be referred to the House. No, but it needs to be referred to the House now. Under standing or, on the combination of Standing Order 270 and 276, a dissent from your ruling has to be referred to the House now. It is a dissent from your ruling. It is not covered in any way by the resolution of the House in respect of the bill the House is dealing with, which, which, which deems that any unresolved issue be treated order, as a resolved please, question. Order, order, please. I remind the member for Perth of the resolution agreed to by the House before the, the uh, dinner, dinner yep. was, uh, the adjournment was called, and point four of that says the main committee continuing debate on the bill regardless of any unresolved questions. Yep. The main committee continuing debate on the bill regardless of any unresolved question. This is, not, this, is not, unresolved this is not on the bill. This is a dissent from your ruling. No, that is, this is an unresolved I, question on a ruling made by you. I, uh, it is not covered by the resolution is, passed by the House. As far as I'm concerned, it is. There is no point of order. The honourable well, member for Wentworth. Point, point of order, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Well, you haven't sat down. Though. Well, I'll sit down. Point of order. I have a point of order. A member for Perth on a point of order. In accordance with Standing Order 270 and Standing Order 276, if one voice is raised in dissent from a, from a, from a chair's ruling, the matter is unresolved and returned to the House immediately. They're the standing orders. The resolution passed by the House prior to, uh, prior to uh, dinner does not cover a dissent, does not cover a ruling of the chair, does not cover a motion of dissent to your ruling. It only deals with the bill. Your ruling has been challenged. That is an unresolved question. It must be referred to the House now. Whether it be a ruling on a point of order or whether it be a ruling on dissent, I consider it, it is a ruling. And the fact is that under the, under the uh, uh, orders that were resolved in the House, which says the main committee continued to debate the bill regardless of any res unresolved questions. This is an unresolved question. I will refer it to the House. Speaker, it, needs to, for Perth. it needs to be referred to the House now because it does not, not have to be referred to the, the House now. Well, in that case, Mr. Deputy, Deputy, Deputy Speaker, I move that the main committee has no confidence in the chair. Well, the question is that the main committee has no confidence in the chair. All that opinion, please say aye. 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 To the contrary, no. no. Okay. It is an unresolved question. I will refer it to the House. The honourable member for Wentworth. Mr. Deputy Speaker, the issue before the House. I said it is an unresolved question. Will we? I heard the eyes and I heard the nose and I ruled that the no and I ruled that the nose have it. On a point of order, the member for Perth. My point of order is this: there is an unresolved question in respect of the confidence that the main committee has in, in the chair. Do you want to move another motion? I, I've moved the motion. I've, that, I've said the motion has been negated. I've referred it to the, to the house. It needs to be. The, I move that that matter be, be, be referred by the main committee to the House immediately. The question is that it be referred to the House immediately. All that opinion, please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. I, I believe the noes have it. It's an unresolved question. I'll refer it to the House. I'll call the honourable member for Wentworth. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. The issues before this House are complex and are of long-term The member for Wentworth will resume his seat. The member for Perth it's on it's a point of order. There, there are three unresolved questions. I have referred Firstly, them to there the is House a dissent. to be Secondly, there is a, want of a motion for a want of confidence in you. And thirdly, that that want of confidence be referred to the House forthwith. On what basis do you say that, does, that can't be referred to the House? The basis, it has to be referred to the House forthwith. On the basis of the motion that was moved earlier in the House the House's and carried resolution, by the House. The House's resolution doesn't say anything about want of confidence in the Chair. It says if there are unresolved questions, they will be referred to the in House. In respect That's of the I Bill, whether the committee has confidence in you or not has nothing to do with the Bill. The, 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 there are the no, House's there resolution, is, the, the the member House's for, resolution the doesn't member cover for it. The Member for Perth will resume his seat. The, the Member for, the will, the member for Perth will resume his seat. The member for Perth will resume his seat. The member for Gilmore on a point of order. Mr Deputy Speaker, I move that the member for Perth no longer be heard. The question is the member for Perth be no longer heard. All that opinion, please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. But this is an unresolved question. The, I call the honourable member for Wentworth. The member for Perth on a point of order. 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 Member for Perth on a point of order. There are three unresolved questions 
three unresolved questions, four. or four if you take if you four, four, four now I think. There and are they four will all be there resolved by the House. None of them are covered no. by the resolution passed by the House, which refer to the bill. There is an unresolved question in respect of dissent from your ruling. There's an unresolved question in respect of want of confidence in the chair. There's an unresolved question in respect of that want of confidence being referred to the House immediately. And there's an unresolved question in respect of whether the member for Perth be no longer heard. That's correct. And those, all those issues need to be referred to the House now because the House's resolution passed before you have, dinner you have another refers point of to order? debate on the bill. Do you have another point of order? You must act now. No, no. You I, have no you choice. Have, but you to have act another now. point of what I've ruled on all of those. The the uh, member for uh, Robertson on a point of order. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. This is quite a, an outrageous performance by the opposition. It, it, it is just what a, is the, it is what, just what is a ploy, point of order? Mr. Deputy Speaker. I mean, the motion that was carried in the House is very very clear that the main committee continue debate on the bill regardless of any unresolved questions. Now, what we are trying to do as a government is to provide that, the facility for the government members. I've heard the point of order. I've we are trying to provide order. facility for government members uh, the member for to, and opposition resume. members to continue the debate Robinson on this bill. His seat. I've heard the point of order. I've ruled on that point of order. Speaker. The member for Lilly on a point of yes, order. Yes, my point of order is very precise, Mr Deputy Speaker. The motion provided by the House says following arrangements applying in relation to the research involving embryos and prohibition of human cloning bill 2002. It has nothing to do with the substantial procedural issues that the member for Perth has been raising and disagreeing with you on. So his point is valid that this should be returned to the House forthwith. I will remind the member for Lilly of point four and I will take him to the third last word which says any unresolved questions will be referred to the House. Order, Mr. Speaker. It is clearly subsidiary to the lead paragraph in the motion passed by the House. The lead paragraph rel relates only to research involving embryos and prohibition of human cloning. If the Parliament had wished this to extend to procedural There's matters no before this order, House, that would have been included issue. in the motion passed by no, the, the House. No point of order. You're, you're debating the issue. The Honourable Member for Wentworth. Mr. Speaker, the issues before this House are complex. The, the, sorry, the member for Wentworth will resume his seat. The honourable member for uh, Mr. Speaker, how can you Melbourne rule? Ports. How can you rule as you have that that dissents in the chair procedural matters, where a clear majority of people in the main committee dissent in your ruling, cannot is is considered Order. Un, Order. under point four uh, member of the, uh, has the floor. point four of the resolution that you're quoting as, as to not refer this back to the House. This is a clear abuse of the democratic process, Mr Deputy Speaker. I'm sorry. This is, this, well, I'm, I'm not ashamed of our source because the, the, the majority Melbourne of will resume uh, in his any seat. chamber should be able to decide what the procedure of that chamber The member for Melbourne Ports will resume his seat. I've heard his point of order. I've heard your point of order. Resume your seat. The, the, the standing orders say that this House cannot resolve a question. If a question is unresolved, it is referred to the to the main to the House, and we cannot resolve a question. I have referred the unresolved questions to the House. But I call the honourable member for Wentworth. The honourable member for Lee, member for Wentworth, the honourable member for Lilly, on a point of order. Mr. Speaker, they clearly do not resolve. Do not go. Do you have the, a point of order. I certainly do. The What's motion the point of order? passed by by the House of Representatives earlier this evening Order, clearly please. does not go to the procedural matters that are currently being contested on the floor. As I said to you before, one, two and three, the subsets of the overall motion uh, passed relate only to the bill. They do not Order, relate to no the procedural matters. Order. Otherwise, the those, for Lilly rules, is debating those standing the orders... Mr Speaker, will you let me finish no, my standing order? No, the member for Lilly is debating the issue. I said there is no point of order. Well, you haven't heard me out yet. Well, I said I'm, there was no point of order. Are, you will resume your speak on that. Take the point of order. The point of order is very simple. There are, there are specific standing orders which relate to procedures which are not mentioned in the motion that has been passed by the House of Representatives earlier this evening. They are not mentioned at all, and therefore they are outside the ambit of your ruling, clearly outside the ambit of your ruling. Had the parliament wished to suspend procedural matters before the main committee, all of those existing procedures and the standing orders would have been mentioned in the motion that was passed by the House of Representatives only a couple of hours ago. I will say again that the principal issue involved here is that this House cannot resolve an issue. 
Even though the motions might be moved and, and, and ruled upon, this House cannot resolve that. It has to be referred to the House, the main House. I call the honourable member for Wentworth. And on a point of on a point of order, member. Point of order, Mr. Deputy What's Speaker? the point of order? You have already resolved those matters. In effect, this should no, be I referred to the House. The issues have been referred to the House for resolution. The honourable member for Wentworth. Speaker, the issues. The honourable member for, for prospect. Yes, on Mr. A point Deputy of order. Speaker. I too raise on a point of order. I very clearly heard the honourable member for Perth raise a dissent in your ruling. That's why I came into this chamber. I would like to know on what ruling you can say the resolution that we voted on in the House dealing with one, two, three and four of the items had anything whatsoever to cover dissent in the Chair's ruling. I would like to know advice you have now taken from the, chair, from the clerk on how you can possibly say to the honourable member for Perth that his dissent in your ruling is now going to be covered at a further time in another chamber, where in this chamber at the moment, if dissent is taken against the Speaker in his ruling, then that has to be acted on now. Could the you please explain? Look, for the, uh, for the benefit of the honourable member for Prospect, the fourth point of the motion that was passed in the House says the main committee continuing debate on the bill regardless of any unresolved questions. We have four that have been referred to the House. The honourable member for Prospect, uh, my point of order. Uh, yes, further to that, Mr Deputy Speaker, I'd like it clearly explained to us in this chamber here, both sides, how condition four. Order very clearly spells out anything appertaining to the dissent in the Chair's ruling. We debated that in the House in another chamber. We took a vote on that in the chamber, and that was applicable to the bill before the House being sent to the main committee. During the course of the event of this bill coming to this main committee, a dissent was clearly taken in your ruling. And I would like to be advised how this chamber can keep operating with a chair when a motion has not been resolved in which dissent has been taken from the floor against the chairman's ruling. The honourable member for Prospect would realise that the motion was put and was unresolved and was referred to the House. So that, that is the standing orders of this committee. So I call the honourable member for Wentworth. I, the member for Lilly on a point of order. Well, if that's the case, we should adjourn to the House immediately. The member for Wentworth. Deputy Speaker, the issues before this House are complex. The member for no. Wentworth will resume. The member for Prospect on a point of order. I don't wish to take the honourable member's time. I'm sure he's only too willing to get forward to the debate as long as both sides of the House are. I would like it explained, Mr Deputy Speaker, and I'm sorry you have not explained it by referring me or any other member of the main committee to clause four of the motion put by the Leader of Government Business in the House. Clause four clearly refers to the bill that was referred from the chamber to the main committee. There was a clear motion put dissenting in your ruling. If that motion has been moved, put, it can't be carried in this House, then all debate must adjourn and it must be resolved in the parliament, in the main chamber. It is an unresolved in question for the bill. Order, in member for Prospect, if she read the standing orders of the main committee, it clearly says, clearly says that an unresolved question cannot be decided in this committee but must be referred to the House. There are four unresolved questions that have been put to this committee and are unresolved. I have referred them to the House. The, on, the Honourable Member for Lilly on a point of order. For, Look, I've got, a, no I've got untold chair. patience. Just for order. Yes, Mr Speaker, as a matter of logic, you cannot have an un unresolved What's the point motion. Of order? point of order is very simple. You can't have an unresolved motion of dissent Look, in the chair. Do I have it's to read the standing orders it's an oxymoron. the honourable member for Lilly? I mean, the standing orders are very explicit of this committee. An unresolved question is referred to the House. I call the honourable member for Wentworth. Speaker, the issues before the House are rising. Point of order. The honourable member for Melbourne points on a point of order. Dissent in the chair in any public meeting has to be dealt with before any other matter can be dealt with. You cannot resume discussions of other matters, which are the substantive matters that were before the House, uh, which the House clearly decided would, be, would uh, focus, if there, were, if there was uh, any disagreement, on ma matters substantive to the stem cell um, uh, uh, legislation. It, the, the House did not intend that you would overrule 
700 years of procedural debate in any democratic the member assembly for Melbourne Ports by is now, allowing you to the member for say Melbourne that the Senate chair cannot the be issue. decided by a majority the of member for Melbourne Ports will time. resume his seat, he's debating the issue. Can I remind the member... Order, order for the member for Robertson. Can I remind the member for Melbourne Ports that this is not a public meeting, it is the main committee, and we are bound by the, we are bound by the standing orders. The member, the member for Melbourne Ports will resume his seat till I'm finished. We are abiding by the standing orders of the main committee, and I've spelt out the standing orders of the main committee. That's what we're abiding by, the standing orders of the main committee. The Honourable Member for Robertson, on a point of order. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. This bill, which we are hoping to debate, is a very important bill. Now, the Re Member for Robertson is debating. What's the point of order? The point of order is that the opposition are clearly restricting debate. We have passed a motion in the that's House. That's not a point of order. We have, well, the Member for Robertson, that's not a point of order. Uh, Mr. Mr Deputy say... Speaker, the point of order is the fact that we have passed a motion in the House which clearly states that the main committee continue debate on the bill regardless of any unresolved question. And I support I your ruling that in that, way. Mr Deputy. The member for Wentworth. Speaker. Member for Wentworth resume. The member for Prospect on Look, the point of order. Mr Deputy Speaker, I don't want to have to keep raising the question, but the fact of the matter is the, the worst unresolved question I believe here tonight is the fact of dissent to the chair. How can you possibly conduct this meeting when a motion of the I'm sorry, has but been the member moved? for Prospect is now debating a, a, a Well, I'm not. I'm just a, asking a for a clear I have ruled, direction. But you haven't ruled. You, you only referred me to the item member four. For Prospect, item you, four you, you can resolve this issue in the, main, in, in the House because that's where it will be resolved. That's where it will be, be resolved. If you want to debate the issue in the, in the House, you can debate the issue in the House. I have resolved that they are, they are unresolved questions and will be resolved in the House. Yeah. Member for Melbourne Points, a, a point of order. Yes, Mr Deputy Speaker. Under what standing order do you say that a matter of dissent? Under what standing order of the main committee do you say dissent in the chair cannot be dealt with well, by uh, this democratic assembly of uh, people? I would argue to you that this... This dissent ruling, you said this is not a public meeting, that the same democratic procedure is inherent in the standing orders of the main committee that is inherent in any democratic public, public meeting. And you, you simply cannot say that I will not deal with the dissent thing and I will refer it, refer it off to the parliament. The member for Melbourne Ports is now debating the issue. Look, the, the, my reply to it is that the House, the House of Representatives, order please. The House of Representatives has passed a motion and referred it to the committee. And this motion says very clearly in clause 4, the main committee continuing debate on the bill regardless of any unresolved questions. I rely on that. I rely on that. And I also rely on the standing orders of this committee which says an unresolved question must be referred to the House. I call the Honourable Member for Wentworth. The Honourable Member for Wentworth will resume his seat. Uh, which member says? In terms of these sorts of things, is the matter should be resolved point immediately, point of order, rather than waiting for some time for the debate to continue. No, no, this no, issue no. has been is a dissent no. motion. It should be addressed. It's got to go back to the House immediately, rather than rather than continue the debate. That's my understanding. No, of no, no, look, that's that's debating the question. Look, you weren't here, I think, when I said earlier that the, that the the point four of the motion passed by the House of Representatives, the Parliament of Australia, says that no, no questions unresolved in this House can obstruct the debate in this House. They will be referred to the House for, for resolution. I call the, the Honourable Member... Sorry, the Honourable Member for Patterson on a point of Mr. order. Mr Speaker, what we're clearly seeing here is a delay tactic. That's not a point of order. But Mr Speaker, the point, point, of order order, is, point, of point of order is that they are continuing to discount your ruling you have read out the point of it's order. It's not a point of order. Not a point of order. I call the honourable member for Wentworth. Speaker, the issues before this house are complex and are of long-term significance. But it is order, 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 order. The honourable, honourable member. I feel that I'm entitled to order, order. order. The honourable member for Fowler on a point Thank of order. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Deputy Speaker. I understand that the, I'm after clarification here. The member for Perth dissented from your ruling. 
Mr Deputy Speaker. Now, you stated that you were going to refer that matter to the House. Yes. Now, if that is unresolved, that is showing no confidence, Mr Deputy Speaker, in your um, uh, decision, you are still in that uh, chair, and I cannot understand why the matter has not been sent the to Member the House of Taylor Representatives now. Debating, now. now debating the issue. I have ruled, I have ruled on that I issue. Have. Why don't you read it? Order. I have ruled on that issue. The Honourable Member for Wentworth. The Honourable Member for Wentworth will resume his seat. Honourable Member for Wentworth will resume his seat. The, the, uh, accepted a lot of points of order that may have been on the same point. Um, whilst I agree with you that the um, resolution passed by the House is quite am unambiguous. Um, my understanding, What's the point of order? Well, my understanding with a dissent, firstly, I presume we have to follow the correct form and it must, needs to be handed in in writing. But secondly, it's not a question unresolved about the bill. It is a procedural issue. And, and uh, if I may say, Mr Deputy Speaker, with great respect, I'm not sure that I've heard a dissent motion moved in this. This is debating the issue. I, I will look. Well, could, could I just point out that I don't believe that... The, what is the point of order? Well, I'm not sure that order. I'm not sure that a dissent motion has previously been moved in the main chamber, and uh, I guess from that point of view, I can't I can't point to precedent about how it might be handled. But it would be well. That's it, debating the issue. What is the point of order? Well, well, personally, Mr. Deputy Speaker, if I could say, um, given that we've never had it before, I would I believe I. Depend? Moved a motion. Order, 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 order. What is the point of order? Well, I, I believe it's a procedural issue. It's not an unresolved well, question. Look, I will resolve. With the I, I will, uh, look, there are two clear issues. No, I will rule on, on the. There are two clear issues that I've already said, and I've said over and over again, although it doesn't seem to be entering any heads at the present time. First of all, the standing orders of this committee is very clear that a resolution cannot be resolved in this committee. It must be referred to the House. The second issue is that the, the, the uh, resolution moved and, and carried by the House, the Australian Parliament, clearly says on, 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 on four, the main committee continuing debate on the bill regardless of any unresolved questions. Any unresolved questions. Very clear. Very clear. Very clear. Now, the Honourable Member for Franklin on a point of order. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Can you inform me who authorised the clock to stop at 1954? One would assume. I, it, it, I mean, no. I don't want to wish to deprive the honourable member of his time, no, really, but yeah. I would. But the normal procedure the, uh, is that well, once the clock is started, it, no one, but no one interferes with that clock, and I it's still know, on 1954. I cannot answer the questions. Probably in disgust, the honourable member for Wentworth. Speaker. I should say the honourable yeah, member for Perth on a point of order. My point of order is this: one of the unresolved questions is an unresolved. One of the unresolved questions is an unresolved question of the want of confidence that the main committee has in you. you you, the, House look, simply, I, I, the House cannot look, allow. You are, you are no, making no, a statement. I'm, not I'm a not making a statement. Order. I'm, making, I'm making a point of order, and there are two, two aspects of the point of order. The first is that the House can't allow such a resolution to continue ad infinitum. It must deal with the question. It must deal with the question of want of confidence in the chair immediately. That's the first point. Second point: in any event, in Can any event, for Perth, show me the, the, the standing order that says that. Any, any time a want of any time a want of confidence, any time a want of confidence motion is moved in the chair. It is considered by it is considered by the House immediately. It is considered Order. by the House immediately. You can't you can't allow a question of want of confidence to be unresolved for a period of time. That must be dealt with immediately. That's the first point. Second point. In any event, that most serious of any serious procedural motion, just like the other procedural motions, which have been the subject of unresolved questions tonight are not in any event caught by the resolution of the House, right. which are expressly limited to the bill. The most serious of the procedural motions goes to a want of confidence in you. 
and you are saying to the main committee that this you are happy. This is not a point of you, order. You, you are, are now, happy, you are now debating. Order, the that you issue. are happy to have that indefinitely as an unresolved question. You are now question. debating. You the can't issue. allow the house. I have the member for you Perth will resume the, his seat. You can't allow the, house. the member for Perth will resume his seat. I have heard the point of order. I have heard the point of order. You will resume your seat. Well, you are debating it. You're not. You're not uh, continuing. Well, I have heard the point of order, which is dissent in my ruling. The point of order on the way and manner in which the House needs to deal with an unresolved question about want of confidence in your chairing of this main committee. My first point is that you, you are debating the issue, Member for no, Perth. You are not raising a point of the order. You point are debating. Of, the first aspect of the point of order is that you can't allow the House not to deal with that immediately. The second point is, in any event, that, is, that, that unresolved question is not covered by the resolution passed by the House earlier this evening. The, that resolution is expressly Perth limited. resume his seat. You are debating the issue. You are not raising a point of order. You will re resume your seat. You resume your seat. I will rule on the point of order. I will rule on the point of order. Well, when you sit down, I will rule. I will, I will refer you to Standing Order 276. 276. Every question of the committee shall be decided on the voices. And if any member dissents from the result announced by the chair, the question shall be recorded in the minutes as unresolved. Any unresolved question shall be reported to the House and included in a schedule attached to the report of the committee to the House on the bill or the order of the day. Provided that if the question of the committee do now adjourn is unresolved, it shall be deemed to be resolved in the affirmative. Now I have ruled that these, these questions that have been put to the committee are unresolved. I have referred them to the House. Standing order says, except as provided by these standing orders, the same rules relating to the proceedings on bills and for regulating the conduct of business shall be observed in the main committee as in the House itself. So the same rules for regulating the conduct of business shall be observed in the main committee as in the House. If a motion for want of confidence was moved in the Speaker or a Deputy Speaker in the House, it is incredulous to argue that that would not be considered by the House immediately. There is an unresolved question as to the want of confidence that the main committee has in you. That must be resolved immediately. It must be resolved immediately. I, I, well, I have ruled, and it will be referred. I have ruled, and it will be referred to the House. You can, you can debate the issue in the House. I call the honourable member for Wentworth. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. The issues before this House are complex and of long-term significance, and they do not admit of the option to do nothing. On the one hand, if the bill succeeds, the honourable member for Wentworth on a point of order. Point of order, Mr. Deputy oh, sorry, Speaker. Sorry, the honourable member for Prospect. I thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I clearly appreciate and understand Standing Order 276, which you have read out. I again would appeal to the people in the main committee here that 280 is very specific. If a dissent order. in the chair has been moved, it must be acted on. The chair has provided, through that dissent ruling, no confidence to any speech being given in the House tonight. You have no confidence then because the dissent has not been qualified. A vote has not been taken on it. The ruling is there pending. It has nothing to do with the motion we voted on. I repeat it, Mr Deputy Speaker. And I again refer to you. 276 is specific. 280 says this committee must run in the same as the parliament. You must refer your dissent motion against you to the parliament to be acted on now. And if you've done that, we would have been back up here now. On several occasions explain to members opposite what the rulings are. I would believe that they are probably looking to, be, uh, to dis suspend the, the, uh, the committee as disruptive. I warn members I will name the lot of them. Member for Wentworth. The issues before this House are complex and of long-term significance, but do not admit of the option to do nothing. If the bill succeeds, uh, it will clearly establish unequivocally that in Australia, cloning of human cells for the purposes of reproductive or therapeutic purposes will be absolutely prohibited. Member for Wentworth, uh, the honourable member for Prospect is on a point of order. The... Member for Wentworth will resume his seat. The honourable member for Prospect is on a point of order. Further to the point of order, the honourable member is on his chair. Could you please explain to me in the House, I alone have been up here over 22 minutes, how he still has 13 minutes remaining on the clock on his debate. Well, you have called him before I came into the House, and as I said, I've been here 22 minutes. That is, an, uh, that is a problem that was resolved as soon as it was pointed out to the, the House that the clock was not, uh, was not continuing. Uh, it's a bit difficult to say how much time was spent in disruption. 
Uh, I call the honourable member for Wentworth. Thank I am going to be a little bit harsh here in a minute. The honourable member for Lilly on a point of order. I move that the House do now adjourn, Mr. Deputy. Questions Speaker. for the House do now adjourn. All that opinion, so please say aye. To the contrary, no. I think the noes have it. It is an unresolved question. I'll refer it to the House. The honourable member for Wentworth. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. On the other hand, if the bill fails, then the position in existence before the COAG agreement in April of this year will prevail. That is, that there will be no legislation on a national basis banning cloning in the states of New South Wales, Queensland and Tasmania, and varying regimes in the other states and territories. It is generally accepted by the, both the supporters and opponents of this bill that, uh, before the House that that position is undesirable. Thus, it is accepted by all sides of the debate that some form of legislation is necessary. Hence, to do nothing is no option at all. In my address, Mr Deputy Speaker, I wish to address uh, several issues. The first is the consultation that I have had with my constituents in the federal seat of Wentworth. The second is to address the issues raised by the difficult question of cloning and its scientific nature. The third is embryo stem cell research itself and the benefits that may arise from it. The fourth is adult stem cell research. Finally, the, more, the difficult theological and philosophical question, which is at the heart of the debate, namely, when does human life begin? Then the protections in the bill, and finally, to draw some conclusions, which I hope will advance the debate. Will resume his seat. The member for Powell on the point of order. Mr. Speaker, Speaker, it's quite obvious that the member opposite is completely out of time. He rose on his feet at ten past eight. I have ruled eight. on that issue. I said that the clock was a problem to start with. We cannot resolve it at this particular time. I, I think we need to apologise for that. But I have called the member for Wentworth. Uh, Mr. Order. 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 Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Uh, the first thing that I did in relation to my constituency was to hold a public forum at the Wallara Senior Centre in uh, Wallara in my electorate. And I invited Professor Jansen of the Sydney IVF Institute, who is one of the leading scientists in this area, uh, to put the yes case. And I invited Miss Mary uh, the Byrne the member for of, the seat, uh, of the we'll Plunkett Street. Street. The member for Lowe. The member for Lowe. Mr. The member for Wentworth Speaker. will resume his seat. Mr. Speaker. The member for Mr. Wentworth Speaker. will resume hey. his seat. The member for Lowe. No, no, Mr. Point Speaker, of order. I only arrived here a few minutes ago, and I need, I, and I, I need to uh, ask you. Uh, the reference to um, naming all of us, as in I presume all of us sitting on this side of the House or the, the, the committee, um, in terms of um, you know, the points of order uh, that have been called here in the main committee I tonight. Because, the for because, to because I've just arrived and I'm just wondering why I'd be subjected to that anyhow, because I haven't participated in the debate. No, no, I, no, I'm just seeking point, I, I, no, I'm just, I'm just I have seek, the point of order. I'm seeking clarification why, why all of us could potentially be named um, you know, if, if we interject or call a further point of order. I just want clarification from the chair why you ha oh, because, because I've taken it as a threat that I can't say anything for fear of being named. And I just like clarification. Sorry? I understand your point of order. Yes. The standing orders of the main committee clearly say that if there is disruption, that a member can be referred to the House. Now, I've had disruption. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. Right yeah. Right yeah. There's no debate on that. No, 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 well, further question. No, first Member for Lowe on a point of order. Further point of order, because I had only arrived in this chamber a few minutes ago, and, and I'm, I'm not sure what took place before. Well, you are I now arrived. on your feet. Sorry? You're now on your feet on a point of order, disrupting the chamber. The well, member for Wentworth on a point of order. Uh, well, taste in my electorate on this particular issue, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I uh, letterbox dropped uh, the suburbs immediately in the area of the Wallara Senior Centre, and I ensure that there were two advertisements in the principal newspapers that circulate in my electorate. The uh, public meeting which I called was well attended, and the debate was very thorough, very thorough and effective. The points of view that were put. The member for Wentworth will resume his seat. The member for Lily on a point of order. Trying to resolve these difficult questions, I, I would like to move that the committee advise the House of the unresolved question that is before the chair, that the committee adjourn immediately, and when, when the House resolves the matters, that the committee return. The question is that the motion be agreed to. All other opinion, please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. no. I think the noes have it. It is an unresolved question. It is an unresolved question. I will refer.
The member for Wentworth. Thank you. The points of view that were put at that uh, meeting were very instructive to me as the local member. Now, Mr Deputy Speaker, it might be asked on a question of conscience.